food. What would you guys suggest um, on Valentine's uh, Day? I say I food. <laughs> eat, eat little as possible because we, you know, if you're old enough, when it comes down to nitty gritty late at night, you want to, you don't want to catch a cramp doing what you got to do. Cramps are not good. <laughs> eat little as possible. So that's what I say. Okay. I say chocolate. Chocolate. Yes. So yeah, forget, I buy my own chocolate. Forget, forget a full dinner. Just go with chocolate. I say a home cooked meal together if you have a partner or by yourself. That's the itis right there. You're trying to make things happen. You know what? <laughs> I think I think I might um I might try to do that this year actually. Yeah, because I mean, like, think about it. Everything's so expensive going out for restaurants on Valentine's Day. You spend all this money, all this crap, gift, this, that, I love you. Bullshit. Yeah. Well, Zio, Zio was actually um, very affordable, and um, the food was great. So I'm just saying. Again, I ate there last year. It was awesome. It totally made the last year and everything was set. Right. I actually might try to go there again this year. It was just such a beautiful atmosphere. Wow. See, um, I'm going to tell you what I would do to save money because I'm so cheap, right? <laughs> Me too. Me too. See, I, I would. I, this is what I do. I do a whole lot of this, a lot of all of this. A lot, a lot of dancing with your hands. Well, it's really this much, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll go to a fancy dinner place, right. you know, right. like right. Red Lobster or something. I go to Red Lobster or Olive Garden. Really? <laughs> That's fancy for you? <laughs> listen, I'm cheap. I said I'm cheap. I right, listen. I, I go to a place like that, you know, drop about 150 on the bill, something right. like that. But the gift. The gift from car is homemade, you know, from the hot. Y'all, mm. come on, females, eat that up, man. You kidding me? <laughs> I took my you guys time think out. that Valentine's Day is a hustle? Like, it is, it is a hustle, man. Yeah, it straight is. It's a hustle. It's like, it's like I'm gonna go back to my girlfriend. Well, I don't really do this, but I imagine it. Like all these girls be like, "Oh my god, oh my god, what'd you get for Valentine's Day? I got this, I got that, mm. I got him this nice watch." Hold on. Your, your girlfriends give your get give, give their boyfriends watches? What's your girlfriend's name? I need to find out. <laughs> I gave my ex a, a watch before. <laughs> Dang. Wow. Valentine's Day? I don't know. I never yeah. celebrated Valentine's Day for anybody. Oh it's okay. Wait a minute, you will celebrate it with us. It's a lie. No, lie. it's not it's a lie. lie. No, no, I <laughs> guarantee you it's a lie. It's I'm telling you right now. We used to, I, Wait a minute, elementary, you come home from school, you have a little card and candy. Who that you gave that to? <laughs> the whole class. Yeah, but it's like I didn't have <laughs> a class. boyfriend. I mean, I just, just... Nah, I'm just saying, you try to... Nah, you spent the week. Your mama gave you some candy, your daddy gave you some candy, a little big line, you know, little hot candy, the stuff. The... You know, you spent it with somebody, but it wasn't like... <laughs> no. I meant it in the traditional oh, sense. Man. Like, I didn't have a boyfriend that I had to... Oh, it's Valentine's Day. No, I never had that. But yeah, I mean, when we went see? to school, I had to buy something for somebody. Yeah. Well, you know I what? See, like, that's the question. That's the question. You lucked out. No, you guys. A lot of people break up because that of that. That is the question. They don't want to give yeah. gifts. Yeah. Why? Why is it tradition? Why is it tradition American Valentine's thing to do? To get a I gift, actually, you know, like that's not really the real reason why Valentine's Day exists. It's not. And I think we should veto the whole damn thing. I'm just saying. Get it out of there. <laughs> Shut up with your well, folks. I honestly, <laughs> I used to watch anime shows, and broken. I like the way they celebrate it over in Japan. Um, like, Valentine's oh. Day is, like, the female's responsibility. And then on White Day, which is, like, March 14th, the man has to, like, recuperate, like, you know, reciprocate. So, like, the woman will make, like, chocolate gifts, if they really like a guy, they'll make it themselves and then they'll give it to him. And then when it's the man's turn, he does the same thing. He makes like chocolates. Oh, but it's, it's on different cool. days of the year. Yes. Yeah, it's cool. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I like yes, that. that's perfect. I like that. Yeah, yeah it's cute. Bad time day in a white day is white day for the guys. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's what it's called. I'm not sure why. It's on March 14th. Wipe it they down. Do and that's oh, when it's the away, turn. You got time to think. 
I'm gonna do that. Yeah, like wow. that's a cool. like Valentine's Day over there is like the woman has to make the chocolates, and then on White Day, which is on March 14th, then it's the man's turn. So you know yeah, what? That let me say cool. this. That's fair. When it comes to makeups and breakups, oh, even though you might not have experienced it, or you might just observe. But a lot of I people did. tend to get together right before Valentine's Day, or they tend to <laughs> break up before Valentine's Day, so they don't have to spend money. That's money. Crazy. See, with that, I have a rule. Uh huh. Now, what's your rule, Brandon? One on one. Pre, my my one on one. Pre Valentine's Day, if we weren't together for six months before Valentine's. I'm saying you're not getting anything. What? Not getting There's enough. accounts for you? Yes, has to be account. Because if I just if I got with you last month, why the hell I'm gonna go all out and go crazy? No, 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 no. See, because I don't. You know sound like a female. <laughs> listen, though, I'm not gonna listen, have sex with him until three minute. months pass by. <laughs> listen, though. Listen, I don't know where this relationship might go. What if you was only digging me? Because you know, I you know, when it comes to love and affection, you know, I go above and beyond. Give me a month before Valentine, I go above and beyond. Then two weeks later, you dump my, my, you know, that'd be crazy. You ain't gonna take advantage of me just because Valentine ain't coming up. No, no, no. It's a little count. Well, we you don't have to get That's her something expensive, Brandon. Like no, no, no. I'm not saying do I'm not saying get her something expensive. I'm saying like if I go above and beyond, let's say like you know, I get a nice uh bouquet of orchids. And you know some rose petals on you know she walk in and a nice little homemade card cook up some spaghetti because you know spaghetti is romantic if you make it the right way. <laughs> you know, lady in the tramp. Oh my god! Everywhere, do a little nice little dessert. You know what I mean? Then after the end, you got a little you know toys and games stuff like that. I mean, and then like, oh that was great. And then two weeks later, like all right, that's enough. I'm W. Like I don't what. Oh, oh my mom. god. Did that yeah. really happen to you? That's terrible. It, it did, almost. I punched in the throat. So you thought about doing that shit? <laughs> you know what? You're very violent, man. <laughs> you are. Saying. No wonder you're Listen, single. Man, I, I, I took my time out. You know, I made her favorite dish and all that. And then three weeks later, you want to break on me talking about you need space? We just started going out in January. You need space. Space my ass. Shit. <laughs> Damn, Damn, you sound really tight. You, you gonna be man. all right, man. <laughs> Listen, when you when you put your get out, thug it out. Think think about it. When you put your own or something, you you think about it and you really like want to make that person feel special, and they turn around and do that to you, mm. you be tight. Well, yeah. this this happens towards um, Christmas too. People tend to break up or have issues, so they don't got to spend all that money on a gift. So it's the same thing. Man, I never really do that. Like I said, I don't six months. I know that I think cuffing season I think came by. Again. I know cuffing season usually happens after summertime. Yeah, cause it's cold outside. Yeah, everybody want to cuddle. Yeah, well, no cuddle. one thinks about that until after uh, Halloween. Halloween is like, okay, it's <laughs> Halloween. We know Thanksgiving's coming up. Um, whoever Family I meet time. in the next forty-eight hours. That's yeah, it's just be like it's about to be. That's about to be wifey. Yeah. And hopefully she can cook. For the next three and a half months. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. I broke up with a girl one time. Cause, cause you know. I got this for her. Time she was coming. I broke up with a girl. I did. Have you guys ever <laughs> regifted a Valentine's Day gift? You know, like some people uh, regift. What do you mean? Nah, I never regifted. That's unethical. Why, why would you do that? Well, why would some you people re gift Christmas gifts. So I wonder, is it possible to re gift see, a Valentine's Day gift? You, but, see, but you know how hard it'd be to re gift a Valentine's Day? That's why I get clothes for, if I would do something. Because you can't re gift them. If I bought you a thong, you, that's it. <laughs> I don't re no, you don't I give it back. <laughs> You know, you know, I did get things on days where it wasn't Valentine's Day. Like, I got roses, green roses. I didn't know that was possible. But this nerd from class, they got it. I don't know. It was like it was from middle school. He was like a nerd. No one liked him, but he had a crush on me, and he chased after me once I got off the bus. And my mom picked me Yo. up. So I, my mom was driving the car, and he was chasing the car with these bouquet of flowers. That's some like. Some I crazy know, so cycle. <laughs> <laughs> you should have told him. You should have told him. 
I mean, they died, but um, there was one time this guy gave me like these Gucci sunglasses, and I've been tempted to just like sell them because I don't need them. Right. <laughs> Is that bad? Steve? I like I like how you said he was a nerd. I don't know. Oh, he was. <laughs> no, See, I, I don't know. Yeah, he was a nerd. He was a... No, like he wasn't. He wasn't he was a nerd. nerd. He wasn't like he looked like a nerd, but he wasn't really smart. It was, I don't know. <laughs> oh, so he was a fake he's a, nerd. He was a fraud. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man, look like Steve Urkel was dumbass Waldo. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. But he, he probably could cook though. You never know. Mm, he moved That's away. Messed up. That's nasty. That's I messed up. Call? Don't do that. That's messed no. up. No, I have he, weird stories. He moved to Mexico? No. You know he could cook. I don't know where he moved. I was oh. like way back in middle school. Oh. He's still hunting for you on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't have a Facebook anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm just it's kidding. Him. Cool. Him. Yeah. Oh, found, right? found I did find out that this guy named CJ, like, um, is still texting me. The thing no. is, he doesn't have my my phone number he has my mom's phone number what? He like texts. it's so bad he's so dumb i told him that's my mom's number don't text that mm -hmm. but i guess he was high when he was when i told him this because he doesn't remember so he keeps he keeps texting her like hey i got weed we should hang out oh my <laughs> and my mom oh, like we were eating breakfast one day my mom's like i don't want you hanging out with that boy again I'm like, what boy? She's like, this guy, CJ. <laughs> wow. He's oh, still sexy. So basically, where are you taking him for Valentine's Day? <laughs> no, he's not my boyfriend. But... I'm just messing with you. That's crazy. Oh, Listen, what, what if, that's weird. What if one day he gets so high and he accidentally mixes up, like, your mom's contact with somebody else and sends a crazy picture? Like a dick pic? Like a nasty, wow. yeah. Oh, my God. A dick pic. Yeah. Oh, no, you will go to jail. Um, I come. I have a weird schedule tomorrow. I have two classes. Yeah. I and uh, that's the moment. That's the that's moment. moment. And we're live and it's real. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. It's raw. Um, we're live right now. Dude, I got I got two live. classes. This is I got I got two, two classes. classes. This is the radio. Oh my so. goodness. <laughs> Things yeah. that happen before yeah. Valentine's Day. Real Classes. millennial vision. <laughs> my mom always knows when to come in. Oh she my comes God. in during all the wrong times. Yeah, I'm always. Well, you know what? <laughs> all right, so before, you know, before, we go, you know. before we go into pop you know. culture, next topic, what was the worst Valentine's Day experience you guys ever had? You know what? I'm not even going to say, well, like, Valentine's Day. I'm just going to do, like, like, weird guys that chased me because I've had a lot of those, just weirdos. I remember there was this guy. Um, I like this guy named Jeff. Like, he was African-American. He was so, he was the sweetest guy ever. He had a whole group of, like, hot guy friends. And all my friends were like, yo, you should go talk to him. Look at all those guys. <laughs> so I would go up to him and talk to them. And they were like, we're talking about you. Like, he was. They were all very flirty. This one guy, though, I don't know why, he always had a thing for me. And I remember one day I said something about Kay. I'm so stupid. Now, ever, <laughs> now since then, that's all he remembers of me. So for four years, he's been chasing me, and I've been ignoring him. <laughs> Damn. That's a, I, the thing is, I'm so innocent that I didn't realize that's why he was chasing me. But that's not actually the worst thing that happened to me. The worst thing that happened to me was, um, let's see, I never went on a date before. This was my first date. It was so bad. It was with this fat guy. Um, I had a fat, a fat chick in our, like, we had a group, and it was a fat white chick. You know, like, the rest of us were, like, hot, and she was, like, the fat <laughs> just there. And she had, you know, like, brothers. One of them was skinny, the other one was fat like her. And he asked me out because, you know how like girls tease each other like, oh, you're a whore, ha ha ha. Like, they did that to me one day, and like a couple of guys heard, and they're like, oh, oh my maybe, god, maybe she's such a whore. We'll like, we'll get, cause 
he, obviously her fat father <laughs> never <laughs> got any. <laughs> never got any. So they were hoping that I was such a whore that I would have sex with like her fat brother. <laughs> So he wow. asked me on a date, like randomly, and I thought it was so cute. I'm like, oh, someone has to give him a chance. I thought, you know, I thought I was being nice. So yeah. I went on a date, we went to the movies, and he kept trying to poke me. And what? I'm just like, <laughs> oh, 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 wait. <laughs> no, those were his moves, like, ooh, I'm gonna poke her, and she's gonna like it, and then I'm gonna go to- Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. What's going on? It's like, it's so like, like, that's a strategy. That's crazy. We walk out of the movie, and I play Dance Dance Revolution, and I'm like, you want to join me? I was having a good time, and he's just over there, like, like tired, and I thought it was because he was fat, like, he was tired of walking. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I realize now it was because he was, like, sad that he wasn't, that nothing happened. That's why he was just like... <laughs> but we left and then my friend kind of called him up and was like so how'd your date with Kathy go and he's like oh, yeah, it was okay and that's when it clicked to her like he just asked you out because he thought you know and, and then I started crying like I really did like it hurt to me because I I thought I was being like the nice person by going out with him and I felt bad for him now I just hated him <laughs> Uh -huh. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh, wait. oh my goodness. But I guess I guess I got my revenge by not doing anything with him. Yeah, thank God. He would have been out of breath. <laughs> I didn't even want to poke him back. Like it was just all like part with it. So much I So can shout out that. to all the guys. <laughs> shout out to all the guys watching the show. If you really like a girl, start poking her. Yeah. So, so Alba, what's your worst Valentine's Day experience? Um, damn, I don't want to go over it. Oh wow, <laughs> it's bad. Please don't live like people do. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. But they always remember you. All right, Brandy. But I mean, one like the the last one I had though was um. It was uh, a couple of years ago, and this uh, ex of mine, like, we went to uh, <laughs> seafood, uh, legal seafood. I don't know if y'all know that restaurant, but yeah, it's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, so, like, you know, I was being, like, nice, not spending or getting an expensive plate. <laughs> so, like, I like the cheapest thing, you know, just so. Oh, like, I love you. Cool. You're going to date. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, the bill's only $48. I'm like, so I could have got my lobster. <laughs> I was mad. <laughs> oh my wait, 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 wait. So you was mad you didn't get your lobster? Yeah, I was being considerate, you know, like <laughs> Yo. I'll get I'll get some shrimp and I'll call it a day. Man, we would have went to we would have went to oh. Pat Mark, got some crab legs, and we would have did it up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> around man. with me. <laughs> Granted. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted the little seafood um bread. Oh, okay. Oh man. I can't even remember my worst one. I, I kind of black out all the past. <laughs> yeah. You black out here. Yeah, just like I don't remember I don't want to remember any of my exes. It's cuz you drink that love spell. Yeah. Oh lord. Those exes are bad. What if you like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I had like one bad ex, but he was the worst. Like, I don't even want to go there. Don't do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't go there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, I would never go back out with him. Like, it's just, I don't even like to think about him because it was just don't such a fake that don't I'm embarrassed by it. He was fake? Like, like he was a blow up person? Like a piece oh, of paper? Oh, he was just. <laughs> We're just messing with you, catches. You are so innocent. She's like, no, no, wait, wait, no. Oh, <laughs> Everything that could be wrong with a man was wrong with him. Oh, my. <laughs> if you really want me to go into it, I will. Like, no. he lied. To, no, no, I'm no, just no. gonna st say it straight up. Like, no. he lied to me about his name. He lied and told oh, me. Oh my God, he's a terrorist. <laughs> you got catfished. Oh, I know. You got catfished. It was Wait a on minute. another level. Cat like, got catfished. Like, he looked like an angel. <laughs> like he had blonde hair and he was tall, like blue eyes. He looked so innocent and he would just bullshit you to your face. Like 
to this day, I don't understand how people could be like that. You know what he told me? He told me that he was an orphan and he was still trying to find his parents. <laughs> Turns out he does have parents and they disowned him for some reason. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a liar. Oh my liar. God. I know it was bad. Okay, liar. so tell him tell him something right here. Tell him one thing right here on Sonic Eclective if he was watching. Some something you mean from the bottom of your heart. Fuck you, I hope you die. Like, I don't know. Oh, Seriously. Wow. Like, and on that note, bam, love is in the air. Like, wow. He's a terrible person. Like, oh my thing, goodness. Like, this is real gossip right here. Because, like, I went through so much of him, and I'm not even sure how much of it was true and how much was a lie. 